John Herbst, President and CEO of the Indiana Historical Society, and I'm participating in our Hot Pepper History series. And today I'm going to be talking about Historic New Harmony, Indiana, one of our more fascinating uh, communities in the state, which was established uh, in the wilderness of southwest Indiana on the banks of the Wabash River in 1814, two years before statehood. Before I get into my story, I am going to dip into this bowl of hot peppers and grab a bite of this one, not the whole thing. Okay. Well, New Harmony was created by a German Protestant splinter group led by Father George Rapp. Like the Shakers, the Harmonists were known to be inventive productive, and inexhaustible, probably due to their requirement of celibacy that created a lot of extra energy. All right, I'll have another bite of this. This settlement became famous for being an outpost of civilization and economic output. In 1824, actually, the community was so successful the Father Rapp decided he would move his group back to western Pennsylvania, where they had come from, to build another community there and harness all the energies of these celibate members. Excuse me. Okay, so New Harmony was bought by Robert Owen, who was a Welsh industrialist and social reformer who intended to create a secular utopian community there, having already experimented with building a model industrial community in New Lanark, Scotland. Wow. Okay, although, new, although Owen's new community only lasted for four years, he had a very positive effect on Indiana unlike the effect this pepper is having on me. Um, and he brought some amazingly talented people to our state during that short time. People like Thomas Say, the foremost American natural scientist, William McClure, known as the father of American geology, and most of all, Robert Owen left three of his sons in Indiana who became very prominent and influential citizens. David Dale Owen was the first Indiana state geologist. Richard Dale Owen was the first president of Purdue University. And Robert Dale Owen served in both the legislature and in Congress where he pushed to create the Smithsonian Institution. So New Harmony became a very, very special cradle for a lot of intellectual and uh, scientific uh, thought and contributions to our state and to the nation. Thank you.